Hello everyone, I am Sohra from AgriMistaf and today I want to show you uh, which tool is proper to extract data from Cordex NetCDF files. Um, we have uh, three, full, three tools uh, for extract data from Cordex NetCDF files. The first one is Cordex Data Extractor and the second is OpenNC File Tool and this is the NetCDF Extractor. The best one is open NC file. Uh, this is the um, uh, powerful tool for extracts from any NetCDF files contains Cordex NetCDF file. I have a Cordex file uh, and I want to extract data from this file. Uh, you can easily select the file and this is the time cells you can change between uh, these numbers and uh, here I should uh, enter the station latitude and longitude you should use the regular coordinates and these are not rotated coordinates and uh, here I should this is the euro uh, domain uh, you can select the you should select between the domain of the euro uh, the name of the variable is pr i should select the pr here and fill the this table fill this table and click on extract and it takes a bit time you should wait for it i want to pause the video uh, but I think the data will be here. Mm, it takes a bit time. You can view all the data here. All things will done in behind code and you didn't need to convert. These are the data for the by uh, OpenNC file. Now I want use the Cordex data extractor tool. This is uh, a simple uh, tool, but uh, it can uh, read just Cordex NetCDF files, but the OpenNC file can read any NetCDF files contains Cordex NetCDF file. Now I want to use the Cordex data extractor and compare them with OpenNC file. I should select the Cordex NetCDF files. It's here. Oh, it, uh, uh, this window will open. You, it means uh, the access of rotation in file is different than uh, website. You can select uh, any of them. If you face error with uh, uh, this icon, you can select another one. This item, you can select it. Now I want to select the website and you can change the start and end based on time. And I should uh, enter the latitude and longitude regular. You can select this icon for PR or you can uh, enter the PR here. There isn't any different. I should select on extract and now I want to please wait. Mm, the data will extract it. Oh, the data is extracted here. You can, I want to compare this data with OpenNC file. So I should change the window. Okay. Now I can, you can compare. Also, uh, the difference between this and this uh, Cordex data extractor is uh, the date column. But in OpenNC file, you don't have it. Now I want uh, 
select the NetCDF extractor. This is so difficult to use NetCDF extractor for Cordex NetCDF files, but I want to show you how you can use this. Um, you have uh, regular uh, coordinates, but uh, you should convert to uh, you should convert the regular coordinate to a rotated coordinate and then you can use uh, nestdf extractor or any other tools firstly i want uh, uh, i want to show you um, i want to show you firstly i select i notice that i select the first icon then i want to select the file the first icon is just for check the latitude and longitude. This is the lat and long. This is two dimensional coordinates. You cannot use the latitude and longitude variable. You should use R lat or R long because this is one dimensional variable. And now I select the R lat and uh, Firstly, I should convert the regular coordinate to converted coordinate by, but by this free tool, free online tool, you should enter the latitude and longitude and select the domain, then convert the non-rotated to rotated. Now the result is here. These are, this is the uh, rotated coordinates based based on your coordinate and the domain. Oh, mm, I should select Arlon Arlat firstly, and the Arlat data will be here. Uh, I should wait a bit for the first Arlat, but for Arlon, it take it didn't it will not take time. I want to copy, select all and uh, select control C and copy the data here. And uh, now I should find the latitude, rotated latitude between the data. This is the this uh, value. I should find the value of the R, R lat. This is between these two cells, but this is nearest to this cell. So I should select 180, the grid number for our lat or latitude is 180. Now I should uh, find the grid number for longitude, so I should click on Arlon and select all, control A, then control C, and here control V. And the value of uh, longitude is this value. I should convert uh, this uh, value because the longitude here is between zero and three, six, O, and I should convert it. Oh. This is the value of rotated coordinate. I should convert it. And I should find between these cells. This is the cells nearest cell for longitude. The grid number is 222. Now I should forget this data and select the second icon in top. And uh, I notice that to you, you should select the second icon. Now I should enter the name of variable, PR, load. Now uh, in these uh, cells, I should select, I should enter the number of time dimension. You can change between this value, the RLAT grid number is this value, start from 180, use one cell, 
yeah use one cell and for Arlon is two 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 and I enter this here and use one cell because I have a point fill table I should select on extract it, it take a bit time please wait okay please wait the data will be here I should co uh, compare the extracted data with these three tools for this latitude and longitude the data is here and with OpenNC file the latitude and longitude is here and the data is here I am waiting for extracting data the data is extracted I should select on sum or average there isn't a difference between sum or average for one cell and this is the data this is exactly similar to others okay it will complete the you can uh, use uh, any programming language such as MATLAB or R instead of NestDF extractor uh, but firstly you should convert your regular card coordinate to uh, rotated coordinate by using this online free tool thank you for watching this video please like the video and subscribe the channel uh, to get more video about our tools or any matters. Bye.